So in the last episode, we were able to implement getting the uh, video and the audio such that when we initiate a call right here, that will notify these other user that there is an incoming call. And then, as you can see down here now, we are able to have our video going on. Now, in this particular episode, uh, I want us to add some buttons which we will use to toggle the video and the audio uh, and uh, that will be it for this particular episode. And we will do that in our video call.tsx component. First of all, in this particular video call.tsx, I'll add some state. I'll say cons, I'll have some is mic on, set is mic on. And then right here, we'll have use state to be true. I'll duplicate that one and right here i'll say is vid on set is vid on let's bring in our use state i'll create uh, a few functions so i'll say cons and i'll say toggle camera and these will be equal to an arrow function then in here we will check do we have a local string if we do have a local string we'll go ahead and get a video track from our local string and we'll do it like this const video track will be equal to our local stream and we'll set dot get video track okay we'll get all the tracks that are there then i'll get the very first one like that and this video track has a, a property called enabled and that is the state that we will change so if it's uh, enabled we will toggle it to be uh, not enabled and vice versa so here i'll say a uh, video track uh, dot enabled we will change that to be the opposite of video track dot enabled so it's a toggle so if it's true it becomes false if it's false becomes true then right here we set the state set is a uh, vid on and we'll set that to be a uh, video track dot enabled just like that and we have this function which we will use to toggle you could optimize this particular function by making use of use callback so right here i can say use callback i invoke pair and i close this arrow function to be inside our use callback then here we'll have a dependency array and i'll say local uh, stream because that's what we are uh, depending on right there i go ahead and save that one i'll create another function which will be similar to this one so i'll duplicate it i'll shift bottom arrow to duplicate that at the bottom here and right here i'll say toggle mic then here we'll have our local stream and we will get our audio track so audio track is equals to local stream dot get uh, audio tracks audio track dot enabled then we will toggle the value for audio track dot enabled by making use of this exclamation mark so we toggle it like that then we update our state this will be set is a mic on to be audio track dot enabled so use effect here then here we'll be able to get the track and update the mic and the vid just like we have done right here so it's a similar thing only that these will run at the time our component are renders so here i'll say rock hall trim we perform a check like this so it will be a similar thing the only thing is that we will not toggle this value we will just get the track and we update the state so we will do that for this as well and i think that will give you the correct value so don't toggle so i think that will be like this is effect will give you the correct state of whether your mic is on or not and then you can be able to toggle them depending on that so i'll just come now down here and we'll add our ui this local stream is in this div i think we could add a div for that section for this particular local stream there so i move that to be inside a div so that we can add another div here for our button so i'll do like this and say button so for this div i'll add a class name and i'll have margin at the top of eight then flex and items to be center for this button now we'll have an on click i'll say on click then we will call our toggle audio the function that we just created at the top 
Okay, toggle mic. So here uh, we will perform some check and I'll say is mic on and and MD mic we include a size of 28. So this MD mic is a component from React icons MD. So I import it. The import will look like this. So if mic is on, we'll show this particular icon. If mic is off, we'll show a different one. Yeah, I'll say is mic on. I use this exclamation there. And and here we'll show MD mic off component. And this again is from React icons. And right here I'll include the size prop and I'll say 28. Now this button is for mic. We will have another button here. It will be for ending a call and call. I'll have a class name and we'll say padding along the x axis of 4, padding along the y axis of 2. Then I'll say BG to be rows 500, text to be white, rounded, then MX to be 4. We will have an on click event. So on click. And later on, we will implement this particular function, but right now we will just return an arrow function which does nothing. So here we'll have a method for hanging up a call, but for now we'll just have this. At the end here, we'll have another button now to toggle the video. We will perform some checks similar to these ones. Let me copy, then I'll fix them. Then right here we'll be having an on click event, and for this on click, we will call our toggle camera then for this one we'll say is vid on and is vid on here actually i think we kind of messed the icons like they should be this one should be here this one should be here when the video is on we want to see the icon for turning it off okay and when the video is off we want to see the icon for turning it on the same way in this so right here I'll show the icon for turning the uh, video off. So I'll say MD video off. Okay, video come off size 28. Then right here, I'll say MD video come just that. And for this one, this I'll say off. And this I'll leave it to be on. So the point is when the mic is on, we want to see the icon for turning it off. And then when it's off, want to see the icon for turning it on i hope that makes sense and uh, i go ahead and save and then we'll see those icons right there now later on um we'll only show these icons only when we are on a call okay so let's just um initiate a call and see if they work we'll test them out okay i call uh, this user and we get the call going like that we have this notification and at the bottom of our video we have these uh, we should make them to be at the center here but for now they are here and if i happen to click this video icon look we are able to hide the video if i click it the video is on if i happen to click this one this now will mute the user or unmute the user we had used flex right here let's see where the the flex goes up to so you can say a bg of slit 400 and you see if it gets to the end here and if it does then we shall we shall just come right here should we add justify center i think that is done that will fix that i save and this should move here and there we go so now i remove this bg this was just to check the position for that and uh, yeah that is it that is how we can implement the toggle now in the next episode I'll focus on answering a call. Okay, so we answer a call and we'll see that peer to peer communication in WebRTC. So I'll see you in the next one.